Hi guys, I just got out of work early today and I don't know how but it's already 1 o'clock right now even though I got out at like 12.10 and all I've done is shower so far. But today I'm going to be getting ready for a wedding. It's my friend's wedding. I've never gone to the wedding of a friend before so I'm pretty excited because whenever I've gone to a wedding it was just a family member who I didn't know very well so this is the first time I'm actually like invested in the person getting married I guess. But I'm going to start doing my makeup. I'm hoping to be done with it in an hour by two o'clock maybe sooner then after that i also have to paint my toenails so i think i'm going to wear foundation today i have the anastasia beverly hills one and it's a little tanner than my face which is good because i kind of want to look a little more tan i feel like my arms are a lot tanner than my face right now so it looks kind of awkward i'm just hoping it doesn't make me break out because lately my skin has been so sensitive and i keep getting rashes from pretty much anything so i'm just hoping the foundation doesn't give me a random rash i was actually a little stressed about this wedding at first like getting ready for it because i wanted to put self tanner on for the wedding because my dress is kind of a lighter shade of pink it kind of washed out my skin tone so i was gonna put on self tanner and then i couldn't find my self tanner and also yesterday i was supposed to get lash extensions i haven't had them in a really long time because they're ridiculously overpriced and i can't afford them but I got a really good deal from a newer lash artist who was giving 50% off if you just let her take your picture of like the lashes because she needed more like client pictures for her portfolio. I was supposed to have an appointment there yesterday but she had an emergency and had to cancel the appointment and I rescheduled it for next week so I'm not going to have a lash extension and I was a little disappointed because I'm not photogenic and a lot of my friends are going to the wedding too so I was like self-conscious about taking pictures and not looking 100% my best but I feel like it's silly to stress yourself out about looking perfect. I always get stressed about my makeup not going right for whenever I have to get ready for events like these but i was thinking earlier honestly who cares especially at a wedding obviously the focus isn't going to be on you the focus is on the bride so it doesn't really matter if your outfit or your makeup doesn't turn out perfect you know we just do our best <laughs> and even for other events that aren't weddings i feel like that also applies we always are so critical of ourselves thinking other people are judging us if our makeup or our hair isn't perfect but it's like most people are more focused on themselves than you so no one is screwed scrutinizing you as hard as you are scrutinizing yourself and if someone is scrutinizing you that much that probably just means that they are also very insecure and so they're trying to pick you apart to make themselves feel better which means they're not a very kind person but yeah that was my little deep talk for the day <laughs> i don't know i think first i'm going to start with eyeshadow i feel like this foundation is looking pretty good i'm going to put it on my neck too though because it's definitely not matching down here Okay, I was trying to decide what palette to use. I think I'm going to use this Naked Urban Decay Cherry Eye Palette. I bought this years ago and I still use it because I know you're supposed to wear your makeup out after like a year, but I honestly don't follow that. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this shade Privacy in my crease. Sorry if the lighting in here isn't the best. I thought it would be good because it's daytime. Oh. I feel like it's kind of dark. Okay, and then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen. It's a liquid brow pencil. I really like this one. All right, I finished my eyebrows. I think they're pretty even. They're always a little off, but I try my best. I'm just keeping my eye makeup really simple, like eyeshadow wise, because I feel like when I wear more eyeshadow, it actually just looks like too much. So I'm gonna just put on some brown eyeliner now. It's a Rimmel London one, and it's a bronze color. I had to take a quick break to empty my memory card because it was full. I should have prepared for that, but I'm really bad with remembering to like transfer my videos. But anyway, I'm doing my lips now. I'm using this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Nude. I think it'll match nicely with the dress. I feel like I have a bit of a mustache right now. <laughs> I feel like I need to pluck this. It looks like a literal mustache. <laughs> 
I like to overline just the tiniest bit. My lips are on the smaller side. And I also put on a lip mask before this. I'll link it down below. It's a strawberry lip mask I got on Amazon. It was so hard to put lip liner on because of that lip mask. It made my lips look too greasy. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss now. The NYX, this is Milky Gloss. such a pretty and flattering color. I feel like it goes really well with my complexion or undertones or something. Now I'm going to do some concealer and a little bit of blush using the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer. I feel like I did way more on this side than on my right side. And for blush, I'm using this liquid blush I got on Amazon. The brand is called Erin. And I'm using the shade Rose Tea, number three. I love liquid blush, it's so pretty. Of course, I have to put it on my nose a little bit. I love how that looks. And I like to just rub it in with my fingers. I feel like that's the easiest way. I put it up high by my eye. time for mascara and then false lashes. I always curl my eyelashes because they're so straight they go downwards. I'm using the Rimmel Kind and Free Mascara. It is vegan. Alright so I can't find setting spray so I guess I'm just going to use a bit of this translucent setting powder. I want to say this is CoverGirl, but I'm not positive. The logo wore off because I've had it for a while. Look how cute this little makeup puff is that I got. I do a little under the eye. A little on my forehead because I feel like that's where I tend to get the greasiest, like right here. I actually do have a bit of setting spray. It's the e.l.f. coconut one. I feel like I don't really like this one that much, but I'm still gonna Try using it just in case. I hope it works well. <laughs> I think getting ready takes me so long because I'm so disorganized. I can never find anything I'm looking for. But I just got my Kiss Looks So Natural lashes. This is the number if you're interested in the specific ones. And I always cut these down so that they're a little bit shorter because they're too wide for my eyelids. And they just kind of hang off. <laughs> and then they also pop up in the inner corners too if I don't cut them. I prefer individual or cluster lashes actually, but I misplaced those as well. And they're also a little more time consuming. So I just don't really want to spend the time doing that right now. Okay, and for my lash glue, I'm using the Kiss Lash Couture Lash Glue with Biotin and Blueberry. I hope I don't mess up putting these on because sometimes it's so hard. I actually find like the cluster ones or the individuals a lot easier to apply, but like I said, it just takes a little bit longer and I can't find them anyway, so we're gonna go with the strip ones today, but... lashes pretty good pretty even they're not a hundred percent but i'm hoping they stay i feel like i didn't use enough glue on this eye so i hope it doesn't pop up but i actually forgot to put some highlighter on so i'm gonna use this cover effects highlighter the shade celestial drops are so potent and pigmented so you really only need like a little dab so that it's not too crazy Just rubbing the leftover on my nose a little bit. And then I feel like the lighting's not the best over here, so I'm gonna show you guys the finished look over the window. So this is what my makeup looks like. I think it looks pretty cute. Did a decent job. Now I have to do my hair. I'm gonna try to do something simple. I'm really bad at hair, so. Oh my god, my hair's so wet still. 
I think I might just let my hair air dry a bit and come back to it. I don't know. I was thinking of doing that hairstyle where you kind of like slick back the front and then have it like over like this. So I'm going to let my hair dry for a bit and I'm just going to go paint my toenails instead and then I'll do my hair after that. And it's about 2 o'clock right now so I still have plenty of time. I'm probably not leaving till like 3.30 to go pick up my boyfriend. The wedding starts at 5 and then it takes like a half hour from my house to get to his house and then a half hour from his house to get to the wedding so I need like about an hour of time set aside for driving. Also I found my Sally Hansen airbrush leg and this stuff is just like a bronzing spray and it basically works like an instant self tanner so I might wait to do my arms and my legs because I feel like I might rub it on the dress when I put it on but I think I'm going to spray a little bit on my chest right now. <laughs> I just don't want to stain the dress. Especially because I might end up selling it on Poshmark. So I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to use it again ever. <laughs> so I don't want to stain it. Okay, I'm in my downstairs bathroom now. I just got done eating some pasta because I was starving. And I think my hair dried a little bit more. So I'm going to try to do like a quick easy hairstyle. I mean, it's not really a hairstyle. I think I'm just going to bobby pin my hair back and like tease it. Sorry, I'm a little backlit. My cat just walked over my toenails. So my hair won't really tease, so I'm just going to put some bobby pins in it and call it a day. My hair is pretty uh, flat, like lacks volume anyway, and since I just got done washing it, it's like not, not cooperating. So I'm going to take a chunk in the front, and then I'm going to tuck it back. Okay, and then I'm just going to wear my hair down like this with it tucked back in the front. It looks fine. Nothing fancy, but I don't really feel like curling it because I don't really like how my hair curls. I'm just going to just keep it like a little wavy. Okay, I need to get leaving in, in like 10 minutes, but I got my dress on. I picked my shoes out. I'll show you guys the full view in a second. Okay, so I'm outside, so better lighting, but I'm about to leave. It's 3.30 now. I have to go drive over to Sam's house. This dress is so cute. I love like the back and the roughly sleeves. Here, let me move my tripod down so you can see full length of you. And then these are the shoes I'm wearing. And my bag is this little gold bag. It, like cinches up with this thing. My mom got this. So cute. My hair is a little flat, but that's alright. But I have to get going now. I'll um, probably continue the video and like let you guys know how the wedding went and insert some clips from that. But I hope you enjoyed the get ready with me portion. Yeah, let's get going.